For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a UI scroll view and add a sub view to it, and then be able to scroll the scroll view around. So this is pretty basic. We're going to create a UI scroll view. Call it scroll view. We're going to allocate some memory for it and initialize it. And we're going to set up a frame. We've set up a frame by creating a rectangle that the scroll view is going to show in. We're going to put the X position, which is going to be the top left corner at zero. This is the top left corner of the phone at zero, zero. Top left pixel. The width of it, we're going to set as self.view.frame frame dot size dot width and self dot view dot frame dot size dot height. What this has done is set up a scroll view with the same bounds as the screen. Self in this case is referring to you to this view controller that we're in. View is a view or an area that visually we're going to see that is connected to the view controller. Then we're going to get the frame of that view, the size and the width and the height. After we've done this, we need to add the scroll view to self.view or the view controller's view. So we're going to do self.view, add subview, scroll view. Now scroll views are much like UI views and they have a lot of properties that you can set. One of them we can set is the background color. So we're going to scroll view dot background color. We're going to set equal to UI color. We're going to say blue color. If you've noticed, we're using Objective-C for this tutorial. We'll also use Swift in a different tutorial on how to do this. From there, we're going to do a command R, or we're going to push the play button and build and run this project. We should see when we run it, as the simulator pops up, a blue area that's a scroll view. And that's it. If we look and we try and scroll though, nothing happens. So we come back, we click stop, and then we set the content size of our scroll view. So we scroll view, set content size, CG size make. What that does is makes a size with a width and a height. We're going to set a width to self.view.frame.size.width times three and a height of self.view.frame.size.height. What this will do is it'll allow the scroll view to scroll to three times the width with the scroll view staying, staying the same height. As we run this, we can see in our simulator that now we can scroll along the bottom. You can see the little scroll bar down there as it bounces from side to side, but we can, can't really tell that we're actually scrolling. So in order to do this, we're going to add another sub view. We're going to call it a UI view. Uh, we'll call it red view. We're going to make it much the same as we made the previous one. We'll make UI view. We're going to allocate some memory, initialize it with a frame. We're going to make that frame be uh, 0 and 0. And we're going to make it be the same width as the scroll view. Scroll view dot frame dot size dot width and scroll view dot frame dot size dot height. We're going to set red views background color to be UI color red color. And then we're going to do a self dot view add sub view red view. Now this would add it to the self dot view and we wouldn't be able to scroll. So we're actually going to add it to the scroll view. This can be tricky. We always need to make sure of where we're adding our views to. We build and run this. And now we can see we have red, but when we go to scroll, we start to see blue. Now we can change this to be the content view so that we could scroll up or scroll, scroll horizontally, just depending on how we set our content size of our UI scroll view. We've created a UI view, we've changed the background color of it, and we've added it to our scroll view. This tutorial was based off of just being able to add a UI scroll view and add a sub view, and then figuring out how, that we, need, how we need to make the UI scroll view scroll.